This is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about more circle. I know most probably you have uh, why you have landed on this page that uh, this circle is this that and difficult to understand all that. So in this uh, tutorial you are going to learn about how to derive more circle quite easily without getting any problem. So let's get started right. So basically who is the person let's talk about who is the person behind this more circle name of that person is cristiano christian otto more the person behind this circle is christian otto more he is he was a civil engineer civil engineer and actually uh, if I talk about his, uh, you know, his uh, hobbies to his hobbies to play with the graphical things. That's why he found this graphical method for finding out the principal stresses. Are you getting my point? Right. So what basically we are going to find out by using this circle that is sigma one and sigma two. Yeah. So because of this method, this this is a graphical method. I mean, this method is different than other method, and this is comparative comparatively easy for designer to find out principal stresses. That's why this method is quite popular, right? So, uh, oh yeah, basically he is German engineer. I must say that must give credit to him because he has provided us such a system. I mean, such a circle. That's how we can find out. Uh, principal stresses by using this graphical method right so what we are going to basically find out in this dot rule that is sigma 1 and sigma 2 so this is a derivation dot rule if you wanted to watch any numerical problems all that i have also uploaded get numerical problems those are quite good i must say that so let's go for the diagram first because it's a graphical method right so what is my suggestion to you if you are watching this video that means that's good that you wanted to learn about this circle but you can make it more effective how let me share with you just take a pen and a paper and start doing what I am doing in this way what will happen your efficiency of knowing the things will be doubled that's why I'm sharing with you this is my personal experience right so so what we have to do, we have to pause this video and bring some paper as well as pen, right? So this is circle and uh, just we are going to put few things inside this circle and uh, it will happen. That means uh, this will become more circle, right? So I'm just drawing and uh, if you got pen and, uh, and paper, just keep drawing, right? So after drawing, you can easily, uh, easily, easily understand what is going on here. So let's say X dash and Y, y dash, right? Now, what I am going to do basically, I am just going to uh, put uh, some, uh, you know, numbers uh, or letters. That's why it would be quite good for us for denotation of the things, right? So, this is D1, this is D2, this is O, this is C1, this is C2, this is Theta, right? So, there is, uh, I mean, this at this stage, we don't even need to use that Theta, right? So, Sigma Y and this is Sigma X all right and uh, yeah i have to give two other uh, two other things so we have to find out that is principal stresses so uh, this this is two they'll say and this one is sigma one all right so these are all things you need to remember yeah other than this we have to remember this is c2 this is c1 also right so now if you can remember this diagram then i am 100 percent sure you can derive the equation quite easily you will not face any problem i mean it, it will take very less time to know and to derive this equation right so let's get started what we have to do basically we have to choose few things from here all right let's say this is oc1 and oc2 right both are same because i have divided on the mid so we can uh, yeah so we can say OC1 is equal to OC2. Now look at the OC1 and OC2. If I will do sigma x minus sigma y, sigma x minus sigma y, it will remaining part would be C1 and C2. So if I divide by 2 sigma x minus sigma y, then it will become either OC1 or OC2. Are you getting my point? So sigma x minus sigma y2, sigma y by 2, we got this value. 
uh, in the up upcoming parts we will use this thing i mean definitely you will come to know about it right so let me use another color marker yeah now let's go for the next part that is ao ao right so what is ao basically ao is equal to we can say ac2 ac2 plus oc2 ac2 plus oc2 is equal to ac2 is sigma y sigma y oc2 i have already find out that is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 so if i will do simplification then 2 sigma y plus sigma x minus sigma y so it's 2 sigma y yeah sigma x plus sigma y by 2 is equal to ao got it now we'll look at the triangle here triangle o d1 and c1 o d1 c1 and from this right angle triangle this is the right angle triangle we can say that according to pythagoras theorem o d1 o d1 is equal to root under o c1 square plus c1 d1 square all right o c1 square plus c1 d1 square now what we have to do basically we know that o c1 o c1 and c1 d1 is square okay now what is o c1 here and what is c1 d1 let's look at this we have already find out o c1 is equal to sigma x minus sigma y by 2 so write that sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square and c1 d1 is a shear stress to x y so this is to x y whole square so we got this what we got right now o d1 that is o d1 we got again from this uh, diagram we can say that o d1 is the radius of this circle is equal to o e we can say that is equal to o b also we can say that because all are radius of this uh, circle all right so from here also we can say that from here to here let's say a e a e is equal to what a e is equal to we can say that o a o plus o e a o plus o e all right a o plus o e a o plus o e is equal to a e now a o is what we have already find out a o is equal to you can see here a o is equal to this so we can write sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and o e is what o e is equal to o d1 so o d1 is equal to what we have already find out this so sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square so what is this this is a maximum principal stress you can say this right because plus is plus is here now we have to find out that is a is what we have already taken that is sigma 1 a e is equal to what sigma 1 and this is maximum principal stress so formula for finding out maximum principal stress sigma 1 is equal to this we have already got it now what we are what is remaining that is minimum principal stress which is denoted by sigma 2 this is minimum principal stress and this is maximum principal stress so what we have done till now we have find out maximum uh, we have find out maximum principal stress we have to find out this one minimum principal stress now let's go for this form i mean look at this diagram only from this diagram alone you can understand what is minimum principal stress that is what we have to find out sigma 2 that means a b now we have space here right so now from here we can say a b sigma 2 is equal to a b right now what we can write a b is what basically a b is what a o minus o o b a o minus o b is equal to a b so a o minus o b a o minus o b so what is a o here a o is here a o is here so a o already i have find out what sigma x plus sigma y by 2 sigma x plus sigma y by 2 
minus OB. We have what find out here. OB is equal to OE is equal to OD1. And OD1 is equal to what? This value. So what we have to do? We have to put this value here only. So just do it. Sigma X minus Sigma Y by 2 whole square plus tau XY square. This is in root only. Okay. This is in root. So what is Sigma 2 basically? That is Sigma X plus Sigma Y 2 whole square. This is root. Okay. This is root. So don't uh, don't make mistake here. So we can say that let me write properly. That's why you will not make mistake. Sigma 2 Sigma X plus Sigma Y by 2 minus root under Sigma X minus Sigma Y by 2 whole square plus tau that is shear stress tau XY square. So this is what this is a formula for finding out many minimum principal stress. So this is all about the derivation of Mohr circle. I hope you understand it. And if you are getting any problem regarding any circle or anything else, you can contact. You can just uh, share with me. I will try to make a video on that. And definitely I will try to share with you. And that would be. I hope uh, these solutions, these videos helping you a lot. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. And of course, don't forget to share with your friends. That's why they can also enjoy my tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hope to see you again in my next video tutorial.